Once upon a time, there was a king with three daughters. They were all beautiful, but far the most beautiful was the youngest, Psyche. She was so beautiful that people began to neglect the worship of Venus, the goddess of love and beauty. Venus was very jealous and asked her son Cupid to make Psyche fall in love with a horrible monster. When he saw how beautiful she was, Cupid dropped the arrow meant for her and pricked himself and fell in love with her. Despite her great beauty, no one wanted to marry Psyche. Her parents consulted an oracle and were told that she was destined to marry a monster and they were to take her to the top of a mountain and leave her there. The west wind took her and wafted her away to a palace, where she was waited on her by invisible servants. When night came, her new husband visited her, told her that he would always visit her by night and she must never to try to see him. Although her invisible husband was kind and gentle with her, and the invisible servants attended to her every desire, Psyche grew homesick. She persuaded her husband to allow her sisters to visit her. When they saw how she lived and they became very jealous and talked Psyche into picking at her husband, saying that he was a monster who was fattening her up to be eaten and that her only chance of safety was to kill him. Psyche took a lamp and a knife. But when she saw her beautiful husband Cupid, she was so surprised and she dripped some hot wax onto his shoulder, waking him. He took in the situation at a glance and immediately left Psyche and the magnificent palace she had been living and disappeared in a puff of smoke. Psyche roamed about looking for her husband and eventually, in desperation, approached his mother Venus. Still angry, the goddess set a various task for Psyche. The first was to take a pile of wheat, barley millet, vetches, veins, and lentils and separate them by evening. In despair, Psyche was unable to start dividing the grains an ant took pity in her and called over its fellow ants and separated the pile for Psyche and disappeared before Venus returned. Next morning, Venus demanded that Psyche cross a river collect the golden wool of the sheep grazing there. When she reached the riverside, the river god warned Psyche not to attempt a flood and beware of the rams that destroys mortals. Instead, he advised Psyche to cross at midday. When the water were calm and the sheep took shelter in the shade and picked the wool off of the bushes and trees. And for the next task, Venus handed Psyche a box and instructed her to travel to the underworld and collect beauty from Persephone. Psyche decided to throw herself off a tower and let fate this dictate her path through the underworld. But as she stood on the tower stop, a voice from the tower told her of a safer way to travel to Hades realm. It also warned her to not open the box after collecting the beauty. After successfully navigating through the underworld and collecting the beauty, Psyche's curiosity got the best of her. As she opened the box, she was overcome by a deep sleep. At last, Cupid found out what was going on. He flew to where Psyche lay and gathered the slip from her body and put it into the box. He then persuaded Jupiter to order Venus to stop her persecution of Psyche. Then they were married and lived happily ever after. And it really was ever after since Psyche was made a goddess. Due time, Psyche gave birth to a daughter, Pleasure. And that is the story of Cupid and Psyche.